All right, YouTube, what's going on? So we're starting a new series of videos today. Um, basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'll create a playlist for this, but this is going to be um, some videos about my uh, upcoming 308 build. Uh, long range, hope to hit a thousand yard uh, steel plate. Uh, hope to hit a steel plate at a thousand yards and doing it on the cheap, not a lot of money invested. I tend to say cheap because I'm not skimping on any um, parts or you know anything but just uh, trying to do it under a budget so first video is going to be about the optic that I'm going to be using uh, the rifle won't be here till Monday so we'll do another video when we get that but the, the optic I'm using is the primary arms 4 to 14 first focal plane scope with the uh, ACSS reticle and this reticle is calibrated for 308 loads so now you've seen a few videos I've done on primary arms optics uh, specifically their ACSS scopes. I've done the 1 to 6, um, I've done the uh, 2.5, and I'm going to be doing some further testing with the 2.5. And I just got the uh, the 4 to 14. Now, there's a little, there's, you know, I've got some weaver rings on here, and I've got my vortex um, leveler there, so, but uh, they obviously don't come with that, that's extras, but the uh, scope itself is it's very impressive. It's very beefy. It's it looks like it's really built to last. Uh, it feels very sturdy. Uh, you got really nice positive clicks. You know, it's not mushy. Very nice positive clicks on the elevation and windage. You've got the illuminated uh, reticle. We'll, t we'll, we'll we'll cover the reticle here in a sec. You've got your illuminations here, four or five. You know, off. It goes in multiple. Um, Range you got that right here on the side, which is nice. And then you've got your parallax adjustment here on the side from anywhere from 15, no, excuse me, 10 yards clear out to a thousand. And then you have infinite as well. So it's got a nice parallax adjustment there. And then you have a uh, focus ring here as well. So very premium features, very nice scope. Very, um, I shouldn't. Uh, it isn't expensive for what you get and for what it's used for. Um, it's not cheap in any way, shape, or form. It's right around the two seventy-nine to I mean, it's two hundred eighty dollar mark for the scope. So I wouldn't call it a cheap scope, but the quality of the glass is up there with very, very high-end scopes that cost four or five times as much. So that's the most impressive thing um, for me. And then the ACSS reticle is very, uh, very cool. So let's kind of cover that a little bit. Just kind of go with the manual they sent us here, and I'll try to get some some shots as well. It's hard to do that on camera, but so this uh, reticle is is uh, calibrated for the 308 or some 223 loads. I'm obviously using it for 308. You've got your center horseshoe there with a chevron instead of a, a crosshair, which is a lot easier to aim with, I think. And then you've got your um, bullet drop compensations. Um, first uh, top of the chevron there for 100. 200 yards and you've got your top of the line there for 300 then 400 500 6 7 8 9 10 you know all the way down to a thousand yards so it's really the bolt drop compensation is very uh i mean all the way out to a thousand which is i hope to be able to get out to i'm gonna i'm gonna start slow um you know shoot at four or five hundred yards first consistently get hits there then move on up you know uh, longer ranges so Gives you like a chart here of all the different loads. Um, the base load for this is 175 grain Sierra Match King, uh, 2650 feet per second. I do have some of that ammo, so I'm going to use that. I also have some M80, uh, which is more common. Let's see, let's get that in there closer so you can actually see that. 149 grain, 2790 feet per second. Um, so the 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 uh, reticle, will, the ACSS will work for multiple loads. So if you're going to be buying this scope and buying ammo, these are the they've got about one, two, three, four, five, about six different loads that you can choose from. So you got a good range of ammunition there. Now you also have ranging with the um, reticle. You have auto ranging. You can see here you've got an 18-inch average center mass target, and how that ranges um, from the top of the chevron to the bottom of the horseshoe, all that 300 yards. And that's what these lines are here for on the side. And we'll see those when I do the um, on the footage of the actual reticle on the scope. But starting at 1,000, going all the way up to 400. So 
some auto ranging there, and then you also have wind holds. So four to four to five to six, seven, eight, all the way up to a thousand. You've got these little dots here, five to ten mile an hour winds, um, anywhere from four to a thousand yards. So you've got wind holds, and then you've also got auto leads as well. So you can lead your target. That's what these uh are here for are there. Then you also have a mill system. So I mean this 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 reticle is very advanced. I mean it's not just bolt drop compensation, it has mills, it has auto ranging, wind holds, the whole nine yards. The whole design behind the reticle is to make it you know to um, allow us for engagements in windy conditions with limited exposure. Um, you know, unknown range and moving targets. It's not really designed just for like target shooting or long range shooting. It's actually you know designed for hunting for engaging uh, threats at a long range distance. So very cool. So let's try to let me mess with the camera and then I'll come back and try to get this uh, reticle on. If I'm not careful, I'll lose my size. light. <clears throat> so this is zoomed in uh, 14 times on the scope, and I did turn the illumination on, and I'm trying to catch this in camera indoors, so this is kind of difficult. But you can get a good idea. Of the reticle there with the bullet drop compensation, the lead, the mills, um, the auto ranging, etc. So, and that's on just five power on the reticle. So, if you wanted to use that at night, uh, that should be plenty. This is extremely hard to get, guys. So, I apologize if it's shaky, but just to, I just want to give you an idea what the reticle looks like when you're looking into the scope. And we'll try to do some more of these shots when we're actually outdoors and we have natural sunlight. We can. Uh, Alright, so there's some shots of the reticle and through the scope on 14 time magnification. Again, very hard to um, to get without a lot of light going in. Uh, we're doing this, you know, in my uh, room here that I usually do my videos in. Not outdoors, it's dark outside. So, try to get some daylight shots also, but really excited for this scope. I do, you know, I've had a lot of experience now with the ACSS reticle. It's, it's slightly different per um, scope from, from the 1 to 6 to the 2.5 to this, but the um, theory is, you know, is, is very similar. So once, once you've used it once, it's very easy and very fast to pick up. So once the rifle gets here, we'll get this mounted. In the next video, we'll show the uh, actual rifle we're going to be using for this. Um, and keep in mind, I'm doing this on a budget. I did have a few different rifles in mind. I did some read some reviews on a bunch of different models. So stay tuned for the next video uh, to see what rifle we're using and some other components. And then we'll uh, do our best to get out there before the weather. Coming, you know, it's mid-September now. Hoping to get out, you know, soon to, to, to take some pretty long-range shots. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, again, check out the Primary Arms YouTube channel. Check them out on Facebook. Excellent optic. You cannot find this in stock anywhere. I think I took the last one that's even out right now. Uh, they're out of stock on their website. I got this from a dealer who's now also out of stock. So they're pretty hard to find right now. They're in high demand, and it's going to be a few months, I, I believe. Uh, from what my contact at Primary Arms said, that they're going to be um, before they're back in stock. So hopefully uh, if you're researching an optic for your long-range rifle, for a DMR, you know, this is a definitely a great option um, that won't break the bank, that does give you really high-quality glass, and it does have a very innovative reticle. So, all right, guys, that's all for today. We'll see you next time.